Hi there, my name is Ms. Caitlin and I am a teaching artist at the Van Wazel Performing Arts Hall. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be exploring mindfulness and finding relief from stress. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel a little overwhelmed. Sometimes I feel a little bit more stress or a little bit more emotion than I normally feel. And sometimes I have a hard time channeling those feelings and finding a way to relieve that heavy pressure. So today we are going to be making something called a galaxy jar. These galaxy jars are known by a lot of different names. You may have heard them called a calming jar or a sensory clay jar or a mindfulness jar. I like to call them a galaxy jar because it does look like a bunch of stars swirling like the galaxy. I'm going to go step by step today and show you how to make your own galaxy jar at home as well as give you some tidbits at the end for how to make your jar unique. So just follow along, I'm going to go step by step and at the end of the video I will include a list of all the materials that you need. Here's a close up of our finished product. This is what you will be making today. So let's get started. So first off you do need a glass jar or you can use plastic but I have found that the glass jars work best in terms of they're just stronger and the lid seals tighter but you could use a water bottle if you'd like. So I'd recommend a glass jar like a mason jar or you can also recycle. This was a jam jar that I washed the label off of and just made a mini version. But I'm going to go ahead for our video's sake, I'm going to use this big glass jar. Then you will need some hot water. I would recommend near boiling so it's pretty, pretty hot. And then we need some glitter glue. I'm using Elmer's glitter glue and some fine glitter and then a skewer to stir. So you can either use a skewer or a wooden dowel. I'm using the, the other end of the paintbrush. All right, so what you'll need to do is to pour your hot water into your jar and you're gonna fill it up till there's about maybe an inch and a half or so from the top, inch and a half from the rim. The reason we use hot water instead of cold water is because when we add in our glitter glue, it will help to dissipate the solution a little bit, help break it down. So now's the fun part. You're gonna squeeze your glitter glue color of your choosing into the jar. Um, and it's honestly, it's a preference of how much you want to use. I'm using these little tiny tubes, so I am going to be using the whole thing in this. For this little glass jar, I did not use as much. It's just kind of what looks best in terms of the look of what you want for your jar. Um, of course, the more glitter glue you use, the more glitter will be in the jar. I'm going to actually mix some others in here. So I'm using blue as my color of choice, and I'm using a couple different shades of blue. You can buy these glitter glues in large quantity, like they have the big bottles, um, but I have a little variety pack here, so it's got to be my tubes are pretty small. And I'm going to squeeze in, I think I'm going to do three tubes in mine. Ooh, that's going to be purple in Squeeze that in there. And like I said, you're using hot water because as soon as you've got all your glitter glue in there, you're going to take your skewer, or in my case, the paintbrush, and you're going to stir it up really well. Break up that glue solution a little bit in there, and it takes a little bit of time, so stir really well. Okay, so now that all of your glitter is added in and it has the consistency that you want, you'll want to take your water and just top off the jar. I wouldn't put it all the way to the top, but pretty close because you don't want a lot of air inside of it. Um, you want it to be pretty well full of just the glitter water. Alrighty, that looks pretty good to me. Um, so you can leave it at that where it's just the water, the glitter glue, and the glitter. But I'm going to also add these little gemstones to mine. These little stones here, and I'll show you a close up of what I am using at the end of the video here. But I'm going to add these blue gemstones to mine. Okay, stir that in. Great. And then I'm going to wipe off my skewer stick because don't forget there is some glue in there. So make sure that you get that all wiped off before you put your skewer down. 
And then this is the part where uh, you will want to put some hot glue or some super glue along the rim inside to seal the jar completely. Or if you're using hot enough water and you are using the type of jar that has the pop-up lid, um, if you just seal it nice and tight while the water is still really hot, after a while it will seal itself and that push top will go back down and the jar will be sealed. But I would also recommend just putting a little bit of hot glue along the rim inside just so that it is very secure. And that is our galaxy jar. Very easy to make, a lot of fun to make because you can make a lot of decisions along the way. Like I said, this one just has glitter and some gemstones in it. Um, you can also decorate the jar itself. I put some rhinestones along the lid of this jar and I glued a pom-pom to the top. You can also make your glitter jars more sensory jars by putting in different objects. So this one has those gemstones and sequins as well as the pom-poms inside the jar. So that gives a little bit of a different look. You can put in food coloring to create a deeper color effect. You can also play with um, putting in baby oil because the oil and the water will separate and that will create a really cool reaction inside of your jar. So you can create a whole bunch of different effects with your galaxy jars and you can create a bunch of different looks. I haven't tried it yet, but I am very interested in trying some glow-in-the-dark glitter um, so that you can hold a flashlight up to your jar and then it will glow in the dark. And there you have it, a super easy project with a really fun outcome that you can make totally your own. You can choose your color, you can choose how much glitter. I do recommend using glitter glue along with your glitter because the glitter glue gives it more of that swirly effect and that's what you're looking for is that slow swirly effect. So the way to use these jars now, now that we have created it, is to give it a good shake, get all of it mixed up in there, and then you're gonna look at your jar and imagine that all of the little bits of glitter in there are all of your feelings and emotions that are swirling around. All of the stress, all of the feelings that you're having, and as you watch all of the glitter start to settle, imagine that that's like your mind. You're imagining everything settling back into place. Your thoughts and your breath are even and steady. You can use these jars for meditation, giving it a good swirl, and then letting your mind wander while you watch the inside. Or like I said, you can use the time that it takes the glitter to slow down to let yourself slow down with it. So there's a lot of different ways to use these jars. I like to swirl them and let my mind wander. Or you can of course watch them and while your glitter is settling, you find your own mind and your own breath starting to settle. So make sure that you share what your creation is on our School Time at the Van Wazel Facebook page, hashtag Artworks Anywhere. Feel free to share with us what maybe makes you feel a little stressed or overwhelmed and how you like to overcome it. Let us know what you decide to put inside your galaxy jars, what colors do you use, what kind of items do you put inside of it. Let me know if you decide to use baby oil and what that kind of chemical reaction against the oil and the water looks like. And we are also going to attach a PDF file to this video of what I call a strategy wheel that has some other ideas for different coping skills to deal with overwhelming stress or having a lot of those emotions. Thanks so much for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you next time.